So today we're in my yard and we're going to talk about bee suits, unusual bee suits. I have all kinds of bee suits from a variety of different manufacturers and these are from Natural Apiary. And guess what? This is a smock. No big secret. As you can see, it's camouflaged. And the fact that it's camouflaged means that you can use this for other things. You can hunt those evil house sparrows that kill your bluebirds. I don't know. Maybe you just want to disappear, but it's a pullover so you don't fool with any zippers. So it's fast. You need to get out in the bee yard and take care of something, pull it on and it comes with this round fencing veil. And by the way, there's an adjustable strap up in there. You can see on the left side of my head, you see the Velcro. So you can actually turn your head on obstructed view. It has these nice wide elastic straps for your thumb. So it doesn't cut the circulation off in your hand like some of the thin ones do. And again, no zipper. No weak spots, other than, of course, whatever you're wearing for pants or gloves. But this is pretty cool, and it also comes in the fencing veil style, but the round veil is my favorite. Right now, I think these are going for like $59. You can look down in the video description and uh, get a link. They're available on Amazon, of course. And that's what it looks like. Let's see how it blends with this tree over here. Yeah, pretty cool. I actually wish the full length one had this pattern. This is the forest pattern. Comes in other colors too if you want that. But pullover smock, pretty simple. Look who's in the background there, that black shadow dead center. What do you think is sitting there watching me? Well now here's the full length Zephyro suit. So if you're looking for their most expensive ventilated suit, buy a natural apiary, this is it. Uh, you may recall I have their camouflage Max Protect natural apiary suit that I wore when I dealt with the Africanized honeybees that I had to investigate for a nearby beekeeper. One of the things I like here though is when you zip this up, the zippers go right together but also the zipper that holds the suit on goes well above this so it doesn't make it bulky. So when you put this velcro down it's a snug fit. Nothing is getting in there. Just the way I like it, because if the bees are going to get through the suit, they're coming through where the zipper is, where that Velcro is in the front. Same elastic. This is a full length suit, by the way, and these are mediums. I'm five foot nine and a half. I weigh about 192 pounds right now. You get a bunch of pockets here, two chest pockets. You get two lower pockets. And then, of course, your tool pockets are on your upper legs. So that's pretty cool. Six pockets. See them there on the back of the leg skinny pockets but the thing is I wish the camouflage was stronger on this suit but it's a vented suit it's a bee suit it's for your bee yard do the bees care nah they really don't I'm gonna show you at the end of this video we're gonna go into the bee yard with the darker camouflage smock and we're gonna see if the bees care about it at all and of course the uh, forearms have a smooth area because you're gonna pull your bee gloves on most often I use nitro gloves so I don't use the big bee gloves very often but if you do, it'll be an easy pull on. This is that fencing veil style. By the way, these veils are flame proof. So you can actually iron them. They handle heat well. It has a hook in the back there so you can hang your suit up or just the veil. You have options with the veil, round or fencing style. I like the round veil. Now I wore a baseball cap on that, but you didn't really need to. The wire was pretty stiff, so it holds it out in front. And it's well ventilated all the way around and through the top. So if you're going to be working out in the hot sun, you're probably going to want to wear a ball cap because you will get tan through there. This green label, non-flammable mesh. Make sure that's on there if you're getting one of these. One of the cool things is when you lean forward to light your smoker, it's not going to melt the veil screen. There's that adjustable strap in there. It's that white Velcro piece. So these will fit your head nice and snug. So you can turn, look around. Not too restrictive. And then the fencing veil, of course, nothing on the top. So sunlight comes right through. You would consider this a tan through veil. So I like the round one. When I put the round one on, I'm going to leave it on because that's my favorite. Unobstructed view. So many times I try to look to my right or the left and I'm trying to do something. And then there's that fencing veil strap right in my way. Do not pull veil mesh. Do not place near heat or smoker. Close all zips. And that's for the suit itself. And when it comes to the veil itself, though, it is designed to be resistant to your smoker so it doesn't burn. And there's a non-flammable mesh tag right there. 
So my wife did iron it. I told her to test it because I saw their video where they tested it with the iron and said it wouldn't melt. Do you hear that wood shot back there? It's mad that I'm in the woods here. Here's another close-up of the Velcro straps. Keeps it nice and snug. Also, the thickness of this, five millimeter gap. That's all you're trying to do with these three layers on a ventilated suit is make sure that there's a thickness there that prevents the stinger from getting to your skin. I like ventilated suits because if you're gonna get one suit, just get a ventilated one. If it's too cold outside, put more clothes on under it. But if it's too hot, if you're not ventilated, it's not much you're gonna do about it. But looking at it from the distance, I love the camo part of it. I just wish it were a stronger pattern throughout the length of the suit. And uh, of course, close up here, the veil. This is a very good veil for a photographer, videographer, whatever you happen to be. And if you don't want to be bothered by the bugs, you want to get close to them, these are great suits. So again, just a view from the top, show the pattern there. Also, I want to show you that the lower leg here is smooth and there's a zipper on the side. So it'll slide right into your boots. And I'm wearing these high muck boots because I like to walk into rivers and water, of course. And uh, most people wouldn't be wearing those in the summertime. But uh, I wanted to put them on because that's the most protection you're going to get for your lower legs there when you're around bees. Let's see how this looks when we're standing next to a tree with some bark. We disappear. Do we blend in? Would people see us? Yeah, they would. So this close up of the mesh. Again, three layers, nice and thick. The average length of a honeybee stinger is about three millimeters. So a five millimeter gap there is all you need. And of course the front veil, if it pushes up against your face, I've heard the beekeepers say that they've been stung on the nose or on the cheek or on the chin. That has not happened to me yet. Hope it never does. But again, if you put the round veil on, you'll be way ahead. Nothing's going to touch your face. These are made in the United States and the United Kingdom. So if you buy this here, you're buying an American made product. That's important to some people made by natural apiary, of course. And as I mentioned before, I have some of their other full length uh, bee suits as well. They're considered a professional bee suit. Zephyros is the God of spring. If you're interested in where that name came from. And these are the pockets up close, nice fabric, double stitched everywhere. Looks like this is going to last a long time and it should. That suit's pretty expensive. The pullover is not so expensive. And I like this pattern. There's a difference in the stitching and the fabric. And of course, this is not a ventilated suit. And these uh, bib style pockets in the front, just like you would have on a hoodie, there's a double stitch that goes down the middle there. So you can't reach through all the way across. So you're not going to put anything big in these pockets. It'll be on one side or the other. It'll hold your phone, things like that. Or your nitrile gloves if you've got extras. Just to give you a close-up of the fabric and the pattern, which I happen to like. I wish the, the Zephyros had a stronger pattern throughout its length so you could disappear. I mean, if you were hiding in the woods, would anybody find you? Could your wife track you down and make you do those chores? I don't know, probably not, but it's fun to have a camo suit. Now, some of the things that come to mind when it comes to a dark suit. Most people wear white bee suits. Let's find out if the bees are bothered by this darker camo smock. I'm right in their flyway. Just thought I'd check it out. I do know that when I wear black fuzzy gloves and I'm doing stuff with the bees, they go after my hands. But I have noticed that even with my other camouflage bee suits, which I like just because they're different, uh, the bees really honestly don't care about the suit. Now, if this thing had long hairs on it or if it were made like a sweater with a lot of fuzz, you might get more attention, but I find the bees don't really care about camo that much. i just prove that out a little bit here. We'll go to a couple of different beehives. Let's check out these bees over here. They're pretty busy. They might not like it if I kneel down right next to the landing board. Cinch up the strap here since I'm already there because maybe the movement will get their attention but you know what i can tell you ahead of time i didn't get head butted they weren't going after the screen and as i mentioned before i like that round mesh look at the unobstructed view so if you're looking at a round veil style they're better in my opinion than the fencing veil so you might wonder why do people even put on a fencing veil to begin with well if you're climbing in some space doing cutouts and things like that it takes up less room you're not going to hit your head on stuff but uh, this round veil on this suit 
is really good. So if you need a suit that you're just going to grab and pull on, no zippers. I like this smock. In fact, I'm going to start using this a lot. And uh, I like it for the reasons that I've already described. But uh, you can sit next to the beehives. They don't care that I'm here. You want something different. You want to look cool, I guess. This comes in forest, sand, and pink. Other colors, too. Check it out. And uh, my favorite, of course, is the camouflage. I'm going to get right next to my horizontal long Langstroth hive here and see if the bees come after me. See if they don't like me there. There's guards on the entrance there. They don't care. Long story short. The color of your suit really doesn't matter. The bees like you just the same. What's more important is your conduct when you're in your bee yard and you're working with your bees. And the color of the gloves on your hands could become important. But these suits are great. Natural apiary, Zephyros, and the forest camo pullover. I hope you like it. Check them out. Let me know how you like them if you get one. I've already shared my opinion. Have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching.